Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. What aren't you thinking? What's that thing doing something there? <laughs> remember that's old Pete's jet. Remember you guys remember Pete? When he was going out there flying for a while and old Pete kind of disappeared for a while. He said he's been fishing. I said fishing? <laughs> but anyway, I was talking to him on the phone this morning and he was whining. Oh, Bob, my jet's too slow. I said, too slow? He said, yeah, it's too slow. So I'll bring it over. We'll see what we can do. So he brought it over and I thought, well, hey, let's just, let's just be souped up a little bit. Let's put that bad boy in it. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Bob, you'll never make that thing fit. Oh, yeah, we will. <laughs> I think we just get the pattern right here. And just, wow, just cut this whole section right here. You want to set that bad boy right there? Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> We'll, we'll put the BF 300 in the in in the in the in the tornado, the model bow tornado, and see if we can't keep up with some of them ultra bandits. And... <laughs> no, guys, this is a old Peach. We had to do a little bit, a couple things for Peach to get. He came over this morning. And he was uh, heard some about. These booms being cut, them deals coming out in them booms on the internet, you know. You know how that internet is. <laughs> but we put up some Kevlar on the side, put a bolt, a little, another bolt kit in there, and kind of beefing them booms up. I mean, it's only a P60. I think it does. It probably does. Buck 20. But it flies really well. You know, it's light. Right. I'm trying to talk about Pete to going to Kentucky with us. If we get his jet going, he probably will. <laughs> Split the gas, baby. <laughs> but no, the, the 300 dollies, it's going into Thunder Chief. I know I didn't have you guys fooled a minute, but I'll tell you what, Ollie. You know, I was kind of planning on that P300. You know, and it's the same size as a P200, so our pipe would have been perfect, you know, in the same mounting position. This motor here is big, it's a lot bigger, it's longer. So, that's a good thing I have not glued in my motor mounts. Okay, now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go as far forward as I can. Absolutely as far forward as I can get all that stuff. And uh, we'll still be alright. Uh, we'll be able to use that pipe, but uh, the only outcome of that is I might not be able to use this. Uh, you know, the P200 set right here, just just perfect. You know, because the inlet is higher than the wings. Which, uh, but I, I'm going to try and go up about this far, and I think I might be able to still use this with these same mountain brackets because I like this mountain system. It goes right onto the front of this bulkhead right here. It's really easy to put the screws in. One screw and then on each side, and this just slips over that other piece I have going through there. So what I'm what I'm gonna try and do is take about three inches off this, take that whole turbine, this whole setup three inches forward. Room and that'll get the weight closer to the CG uh, so we won't have to because I don't want to have to end up throwing a bunch of lead in that nose and we'll still be able to use your pipe and everything's just going to work out perfect brother <laughs> yeah, everything's going to work out good sure I'm glad we sent that here Mine got caught up by customs but now it'll be installed right I won't just you know doing this 
the job in, you know, Kentucky just to get it in the air. It'll be built for that turbine. And I guarantee you guys one thing, this plane's going to take it. And it'll take that turbine like an open fist. You know what I mean? Okay. That's what I got for you there, Ollie. But it showed up good. The box wasn't damaged. Um, everything's here. Solenoids. Two solenoids. I like them couplers they got with them. Fuel pump. The wires. Motor mount. It's all here, brother. Uh, board. Start box. Good to go. Man, I'm glad I didn't glue that stuff in there. Man, I'm glad. If I would have, we would have had to get a new pipe. <laughs> I'm afraid we might have had to. I'm glad I didn't. I was just waiting for that reason, just in case. But now I can get all that done. I'm going to get on that tonight. But first, I got to show you guys my drop things all done. I got the tubes into tanks and I got the fins on them. I got the fins on that tank. I'm going to do this. I got the fins all on this tank and I got the nose cone glued on. Got all these glued in, them styrofoam. Full kids are gonna work great. Isn't that hard to know why these tanks are a lot lighter than them other ones, Ollie, half as much. Half. Just uh guys, this is serious business. I mean that weight issue. I know I preach it, I preach it, I preach it, but I didn't preach it soon enough. <laughs> These are all done. I got my Bondo. I just put a kind of a ring of Bondo on there. Take me some plastic on there and just smashed it. Let it get to that rubbery state. Untaped my plastic, pulled it all up, peeled the plastic off, trimmed it with a knife. Still perfect fit. Now the trick to these, you don't want to rock them. You know, these tubes, in order for all this to work right, they have to be exactly parallel to each other. I mean exactly. If they're uh, 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 half a frog hair out, and that's close, they won't work. You'll have a hard time getting these in and out. You know, but they work great. Slide right into place. Bang. And the only catch, Ollie, is you gotta take them drop tanks home in your carry-on luggage. <laughs> what do you think they'd say if they seen them sticking out of your backpack? <laughs> Oh, it's just a bottle blaster. <laughs> but see, it's these, uh, I like these bump rails, you know, because that's what these are for. When things bump into it, they don't damage the drop tanks. But, you know, they're, they're soft everywhere, but, you know, it's just got to be. It's, it's rigid, you know, it keeps away now. Bam, slide right in place, baby. And that's gonna look good. Going to look good. That's where I'm at on these. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Someone to carry out a load. <laughs> See how far. <laughs> I didn't joke about that, but they just straight up 
Uh, these things are just uh, just just a half a frickle off. They they won't work. They will not work. You won't be able to get them on, or you won't be able to get them off. When they slide right in, right, you know, like that. That's perfect, man. Now I got one layer patch on here, but it looks pretty good. But usually, you always got to bondo something twice. You know, for the shrinkage and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my panel line tape back in here. You see, I cut all that inside the panel lines. Nothing's in my panel line yet. When I put that last bondo on, I just took me some masking tape over the bondo lines. Kind of a quick job, but now I'll put, actually put my panel line tape back in the panel lines. Fill this. Uh, prime it because I don't want to prime this whole wing again. Just anything I want to fix. Any body work. Uh, there's a couple little dings here and there. That's all I'm going to prime. We've got to keep the weight down. Alright. Now I'm ready to glue my ducts. Do this. Okay. First thing you got to do, Joe, is go wash these things out. Inside and out. Got to get that wax coating off. I'm gonna hit this a little bit with the dot coat. Right and pretty much this goes in place. See, it's gonna hit. Yeah. Hit that bulkhead right there. That's where you want it to come out. I'll do it over at the end like that. Okay. And uh, the rest is pretty simple. Just glue her in, baby. That goes right there. And then any of this will get trimmed off afterwards. And then we come straight out, trim that straight off. Then I put a block of, uh, an angled block of wood right there so you can't smash it. And you cannot see this when the plane's on, when the wing's on the plane. You cannot see this at all. It's behind that lip right up front there. But you put, Get a, I take a piece of a, a, a block of wood and 45 it around these corners toward, you know, the 45 edges in here, around them corners, glue it in. That keeps that from collapsing. That makes that really tough right there. After I got, after I get this smeared with glue, you gotta sand both these edges really good, even though they've been peel plied. You sand them, then I got this right here. That goes right there. That holds it all to the right shape. Clamps. You gotta kind of twist it around. It's being pale. So, clamp it up. And uh, I need to get them glued in. And I've got to mount the other wings today. We already worked on that today. We're done. Uh, he's just going to come by in the morning. We're going to do a couple other things. But I want to, I got to get these wings tidied up. And uh, get them ready to paint. So, I'm going to get me a plan going for today. And I'll be 